Hey and welcome to Climbing Daily, my name is Hugo Pilcher and today it's just me. Matt is away filming in Spain at the moment, so... So, we start with the worrying news that Marc-Andre Leclerc and Ryan Johnson have gone missing on a climb in Alaska. Nine days ago on March the 5th, Canadian Leclerc and Alaskan local Johnson summited the main tower on Medenhall Towers via a new route on the North Face. On that day, Leclerc posted a photo to Instagram stating, rare live update, that is Mount Fairweather in the distance. From the top, the pair had planned to ski out on the West Medenhall Glacier Trail. According to grip.com, they fired off a few text messages on March 5th, because luckily they had cell service from the top. When they didn't return as planned on Wednesday, search and rescue teams went to action and began to form a plan to look for them. The weather had turned from blue skies to snowstorms and minus 30 degrees at 3,000 meters overnight. A GoFundMe has been set up in order to get the families of the two climbers out to Alaska so that they can help with the search. We will put a link in the description below, so check it out if you want to follow through on that. Right, next up from that, we are going to a kind of bouldering roundup uh, pre-season before the IFSC gets started. Um, and it starts with Quiff in uh, Sheffield in the Climbing Works. Now, we would show you uh, the results and who won and everything like that, and we'd report it to you, but we did film at Quiff. Johan and Matt went along, and they, we are going to be producing a couple of shows for next week, Monday and Tuesday for next week. So we don't want to give you uh, away who the winners are just yet. But if you really, really want to find out, you can go to UKC, and they've got like a list of the winners. Um, and, you know, you can see who won. But we're going to keep it a secret from you until that point of next week when we, when we release the videos. But there, are, there were some other uh, bouldering competitions that happened that we can tell you the results of. The Austrian Bouldering Championships took place at the weekend and the winners were Jesse Pilts and George Palmer. In the North Face Cup in Tokyo, it was Mio Nanaka and Kai Harada who took the win. And in the Tri-State Bouldering Championships, it was Canadian Alana Yip and American Kai Leitner who took the wins, looking really strong in the competition coming from New York. Right, so super interesting to see who's climbing strong at this, type, this, this part of the season and who's going to kind of take it into the uh, first round of the IFSC, which is Meringen, in about a month's time. So 13th to 14th of April, Meringen, that's the first uh, round of the IFSC. So really looking forward to that. Going to be really exciting to see who can like get some early season form and really kind of make a statement. Right, next up, we have got the Spanish Senders train, which has continued to roll in Sirana. Annalena Leitinen has reported on her Instagram that she has done Pato Nozo, 8C+. Matty Hong and John Cardwell have made a sense of Stado Critico, 9A. And Daniel Woods has sent Jungle Speed, 9A. Yeah, so that's just around the corner from where Matt is at the moment in Spain. So maybe Matt should take a little detour and get some inspiration. Anyway, next up we have what you've all been waiting for, the 9B counter. <laughs> So there have been no 9Bs this week. A couple of 9As, but no 9Bs. On the plus side, what do you all think of the 9B counter? I think it's been pretty good. Okay, so on to videos coming out from Epic TV this week. We have got uh, a bunch of gear reviews, but they're not kind of normal gear reviews. They're a little bit different from these guys uh, from a company called Wapato Media House. Um, and in particular a guy called Zimon Erhat, who is a climber from Scotland, I believe. And he has been reviewing a whole bunch of stuff in kind of a weird way. Rope test. The producer's down there, the producer wants a beer, the producer gets what the producer wants. It's way too hot to walk around, so I'm going to try out the ropes uh, and see if I can lower a beer to them and I will report back to you. So I think the solution probably I think a claw pitch. <laughs> so let's cut to our other camera, which is downstairs now. No. <laughs> Just <definitely. laughs> Have you got the magic hand to like retrieve it? <laughs> it's pretty empty. Like diamond, no good for this kind of carry on. Let's see what the field opera's got. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that worked much. No, I didn't. <laughs> that is pretty important to know about ropes, plus it's pretty entertaining. 
Anyway, talking about, speaking about entertaining, uh, we had two ice climbing edits which went out on Monday and Tuesday of this week. We filmed at the Finn Ice Air, uh, Ice Climbing Championships in Ulu in kind of the northern part of Finland uh, last week. Uh, two episodes went out this uh, on Monday and Tuesday. Here's a little clip. Now the athletes can't climb in massive down jackets, so what they have to do is chill in this holding area and then make the dash out to that bit over there, strip off and get climbing. So it is considerably warmer in here, there's a fire thing to warm everyone up and ooh, coffee. You guys, do you want one? That was mega, mega cold. It was like the coldest temperatures I've ever had to film in. Luckily, the cameras managed to carry on working the whole day, which kind of was a blessing and maybe not at the same time, but we just carried on filming, which was great. And you know, some of the light up there was absolutely incredible. But to warmer kind of climate uh, in Puerto Rico, where the Cold House Media Vlog is continuing. So part of boulder exploring is talking to landowners. Brian's up there talking to him. He looks cornered right now by dogs and people. Good luck, Brian. Did you want, like, <laughs> we made it. We're walking to something we've seen from the highway. It looks much bigger. Come on, baby. Give us holds. We got a big slab. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Oh. Dude, I see edges. Horse, him his life here. Oh God, that's disgusting. Perfect. Puerto Rico just keeps on giving. Okay, so from videos, we are filming this weekend in the, at the Studio Block Masters. Matt is coming over from Spain. I am gonna be going to Frankfurt from here. We're gonna meet up, we're gonna be filming at Studio Block Masters all weekend. And if you wanna keep up to date with what we're doing and, and like right there and then, check out our Instagram uh, page, FTV Climbing, where Matt is always uploading stories. For example, this one. Good morning everyone. Uh, we are in Spain with this man, Jan, who runs Rock Busters and we're doing master classes. Right. Master classes with Adamundra, Clement Bechan. Hello everybody and I hope to see you next year. What a lucky boy. Um, right, last thing that I've got to mention is that we have just taken our first order of the Black Diamond climbing shoes in the Epic TV shop. I will put a link in the description below uh, so you can go and check them out at the shop. That's it for this week. Uh, next week, we're going to be back as normal with Matt as a duo. But for now, from me, have a great week and a great weekend, and I'll see you later. Bye.